Hey folks, just finished my morning routine, got my tea, got my baby monitor, just uh, having a nice early morning. And um, what came through for me this morning was actually, you know, so I've had this, I've had this experience twice now, or more than that, but twice really vividly recently where I was on a, some, either I was on a retreat or I had some big experience. You know, one first time it was Kyle having me play on the Wednesday night call and then all of a sudden I had three or four new students wanting to take lessons with me. And then the retreat last weekend, not this past weekend, but the one before that, I also, Kyle had me on the show again or had me on the retreat again and I was playing and, um, did all this work with him, all this amazing shifting stuff, and then also got a bunch more students. I'm meeting two new students today. And then immediately afterwards, like sometime midweek last week, immediately afterwards, I was right back to this feeling of, it's not happening fast enough. There's not enough money. You know, I'm thinking about, I still have this credit card bill and I'm not paying it off fast enough and blah, 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 blah. And like, it was so vivid that immediately following a real shift where action is taken and movement is created, new, new movement is created, immediately following that, a pattern kicks back in harder than before and kind of like starts to fight for its life. You know, it's like it's, it's like right in the midst of new abundance arising, the pattern feels an even greater need to say, it's not enough. It's not happening fast enough, right? Whatever, whatever that is, that's sort of scarcity. It's like it has to reassert scarcity or it thinks I'm going to die or it's going to die. And it's just, it's bizarre because, you know, it's completely contradictory. Like you'd think that it would be the opposite. You'd think that as abundance starts to emerge, the pattern would say, oh, oh, okay, I'm not needed here anymore. I, I'm so glad I can go. No, that's not how it seems to work. The pattern wants to hold on even more and tries to take even the new abundance and turn that into food for its own validation, um, you know, for this validation of, of the scarcity. So bizarre and I'm just clocking it because it it hit me uh, a couple times recently and I and when it happened this most recent time it was like I'd even talked it through really explicitly with Katie after the last time and sort of felt it and seen it noticed it clocked it totally recognized it bam happens again you know so it's just it's interesting and it's good to keep in mind I think that like just because you see a pattern that is a long ways from maybe clearing it out you know I'm not saying some people can't like see a pattern once and then be done, but I would also say it's just good to be uh, kind of vigilant and, 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 and have some go easy on yourself. You know, the patterns are going to come back and they're going to, they're going to feel worse when you start making real changes because that's when they're actually under threat. It's when they're actually starting to go somewhere. So that's my, that's where I am today. Um, and something came through in meditation really strongly this morning, you know, which is I was kind of like running through my mind. I have a phone call today with a possible new like business coach person. And, and I'm not sure, you know, I just I haven't had the call yet, but I'm, I was kind of like I'm, I'm feeling like I'm uh, potentially rolling into something that I'm not sure about. And I and my mind is going crazy. And what came through this morning as I was sitting is something Kyle says all the time, which is you don't have to do the work. God will do the work. You just show up, be present, be in the moment, be here, be available, be honest, you know, really look at what's really here and really feel what's really going on in your heart and in your soul. And then God does the rest. You don't actually do any work. And that mind treadmill that is working so hard to do all the work is actually not doing the work. <laughs> it might think it is, but it's really, really not. And so that's also 
uh, in conjunction with watching this pattern flare up, it's also, uh, that's kind of soothing to keep in mind and just be able to say, okay, you know, here I am. This is going on. Here I am. So, anyway, folks, I love you so much. Thanks so much for watching. Um, as always, it's so great to have people watching these and liking them and, you know, giving giving me some reflection on what I'm saying. So, thanks so much. Love you all. See you again very soon.